So I make two types of videos. I make videos about internet scams and I make videos about chicken sandwiches. And um, a couple months ago I tried the, uh, the Popeye's chicken sandwich and I did a review on that and I uploaded it and a couple of you um, were leaving comments like, hey, you should do more of this. And so I thought, okay, next time there's a popular chicken sandwich that comes out, I'll do a review and I will bring you guys along. And um, I also brought my friend Tim along. Um, because he is going to be holding the camera while I drive. So, hold this. Say hi. Don't vlog and drive at the same time. Let's go get a chicken sandwich. Whatever. Um, so, I hope everybody's doing well. This week, our president declared a national emergency because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's COVID-19 week. It's, it's the coronavirus scare. A national emergency. And um, I've been hunkered down in my, uh, my basement for the last three days. I haven't seen any sunlight. Um, what was that? Quiet. Just thought I'd come on out and see um, if, if the world is still spinning. And I'm here at Costco and it's a madhouse. So you can kind of show these people. Look at these idiots who didn't <laughs> plan ahead. Anyway, it's a it's a it's a it's a madhouse. I don't know how you guys are, are holding it to, holding together, but um, how are you doing on toilet paper, Tim? We're pretty good. My wife runs a preschool, so we actually stay pretty stocked up, oh, which yeah. is to. a blessing in disguise. You know what I bought last week? I bought a bidet um, because that way. You don't need toilet paper, you got a bidet. That's been my thought this whole time, like just jump in the shower. <laughs> Get a high pressured nozzle and jump in the shower. Sure, it might add five to 10 minutes to your dealings, but if you're a guy, usually that's uh, how long you're in there anyway, so. Anyway, um, while, I, while I'm out and about, I just thought let's get some lunch. And everybody's been talking about the KFC uh, chicken sandwich. They put a, a, a piece of chicken between two donuts. And, uh, it's cooked to order, get it in a basket or a sandwich. Um, I don't know if you've tried it or not, but everybody's talking about it. And so I figure you all want the, the old Pleasant Green review. And so uh, I've talked Tim into uh, going with me and um, I don't know if we're taking a risk, I don't know if we're being stupid, going into a restaurant and having uh, you know, people put their hands on our food, but uh, we've brought plenty of Clorox wipes and uh, hand sanitizer, so hopefully we're being smart. Um, you know, we've gotta eat, we've gotta keep KFC in business, so uh, let's, go, let's go try out the sandwich and I'll let you know what I think. The virus doesn't kill us, the calendar or the cholesterol will. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this, there's nobody here. If you don't like crowds, now's the time to eat out. <laughs> there's no <laughs> there's no flavor. Gotta do the Turkish twist. I learned that on Dr. Oz. Let's take a look and see. Oh my gosh. Well, I think it looks pretty good. For some reason, they couldn't just put chicken on a donut. They had to pour half a cup of glaze over the whole thing, so. I don't imagine how we're gonna eat this without making a mess, but. That doesn't make me feel good. I figure if I've got sick already, I'm gonna get sick regardless of whether I finish this or not. So let's finish it and I'll give you my final review. I 
I have this craving to like lick my fingers, but the CDC told me not to lick my fingers, so like, I guess I just have to wipe it off. Dang it. I'm gonna take care of that hair before you start getting too far along. Yeah, I don't think I can eat without, do you see that, that came with the sandwich? <laughs> I'll be honest, it's a disaster for beards, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, well, um, the the results are in, and uh, we're gonna give you what we uh, we're gonna give you our thoughts on the sandwich. Um, I was a fan. I really liked it. I thought it had the perfect blend of savory and sweet. Um, the, the, the chicken's awesome. Uh, I don't know about the donuts. Like they're famous for the, their chicken. I don't know if they're famous for their donuts. What did you think of the of the donuts? I thought the donuts were pretty good, but it, it was probably because they were doused in glaze, and so that's all you're tasting is really just the mm. sugar. So they might be trying to hide something with that glaze. The glaze was good. And the donut yeah. was just the vehicle to get the glaze into your mouth and the chicken. Yeah. What about the price? Uh, I just barely looked at the receipt. I didn't realize how much we paid for it. This was a $17 meal for two drinks and two sandwiches. I guess this is a... I mean, you can't complain because I bought yours, but... I'm not complaining. This was a $6 sandwich. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was worth $6. Like, you can go to Popeye's or Chick-fil-A and get a $4 sandwich that's probably just as good or better. Yeah, this isn't six dollars. What do you think? That's like fine dining prices, and uh, judging by the hair on the tray, the drink being out of uh, syrup. I mean, they probably took the syrup from the drink and doused the donuts in it. That's why there wasn't any left in the, yeah. In the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KFC, you need to spend less on your marketing, and you need to spend more on your customer uh, experience. Okay, you got to buy some hair nets for these employees. You got to keep your you got to keep your sugar and your flavor stocked in your in your pot machine. Okay, I'm just getting straight carbonation out of the machine. So um, spend a little bit more on that. But um, I don't know. I'm glad I tried it. It was it was worth it. It was it was fun, um, worth the experience. But I don't know if I'm gonna try it again. I'm probably gonna go back to Popeyes see if that line's died down yet. Are you gonna come back? Um, or did the hair do it for you? <laughs> KFC isn't my go-to place when I'm craving chicken anyway. I know we probably different have different opinions on that. You say you really like the chicken here. But if I'm gonna do a chicken sandwich, I'm Chick-fil-A all the way, so. I'm still sticky, so. Yeah, I mentioned uh, taking a shower after doing your business earlier. You're gonna have to take a shower after eating this <laughs> sandwich too. So save on wet wipes and toilet paper and go straight to the shower after you've eaten one of these things. All right, well, there's our review. Um, do you think we're gonna get sick, or did we did we sanitize well enough that we'll be okay? I think we did KFC a favor and made this table the cleanest it's ever been, so I think we'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Well, that does it for us. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hey, if you want to follow Tim, he's got a YouTube channel too. What do you do on YouTube? Yeah, so I do uh, hikes in my local community, and I've started branching out to doing a little bit more exploration videos of like abandoned sites and cool geographical features. So if you like some of the outdoor stuff, then that's a channel you should check out. Thanks, Ben. Yep, thanks for joining us for lunch, everybody. Uh, have you tried the sandwich? What did you think? Let us know down below. Um, hopefully you're staying healthy and you're um, not touching your face and you're wiping oh. down and... Oh, did you do it? Yep. Yep, you, you, can't, you can't not do it. So, all right, well, let us know what you think of the sandwich and hopefully you're staying safe. Be, uh, be careful out there and we'll see you around. No, never mind.